Um, basically what we have here is now the best thing to do is be exactly what Griffin's doing. Graph it, right? When you guys take your EOC, graph it. Take out the graphic calculator because you won't have Desmos, but graph it, right? Just graph it. Now again, what I did in the last problem was I simplified it though first, right? Because as long as you know your algebra, simplifying is usually going to be a preferred method. But if you can't simplify it, graph it, graph it, graph it. And again, guys, is there anything I can, can I, some, can I factor anything here? Just doesn't really look that nice, right? So now I need to remember, I know that this is a rational expression, so I need to remember my asymptotes, my rules for asymptotes. Now, first one was vertical asymptotes. Vertical asymptote, you set the denominator equal to zero, right? And this is from chapter two, you guys remember? Set the denominator equal to zero and solve. Well, what I notice is I'm gonna subtract a five, divide by four, and then take the square root. Well, I'm gonna be taking the square root of a negative number, right? So is that vertical asymptote going to be true for real numbers? No, it's gonna be for complex numbers, right? So there is no vertical asymptote above this graph. The next thing is I look at horizontal asymptotes. I notice that the degree in the numerator is the same as the degree in the denominator. So if you guys remember, your horizontal asymptote is the ratio of the coefficients. Two over four is one half. Now, I know what this graph looks like, and um, I bet when you guys have a graphing calculator, you guys would really get this as well. But the graph is gonna look something like this. There's one, here's one half. Looks something like that, okay? So again, let's go on, oh, I didn't even ask what the question is. Limit of, let's call this h of x, so limit as x approaches infinity of h of x. So as x approaches infinity of h of x, so as we go to infinity, I'm approaching my asymptote. What is the value of that asymptote? One half. One half. Okay, so we're not going up into infinity, we're not going down into negative infinity we're approaching our horizontal asymptote, all right? So that's just another thing for you guys to pay attention to. Is that pretty close? Mm -hmm. 